Hey guys, it's Blake. In this video, I'll be comparing the landing pages of three well-known music streaming services, Spotify, Apple Music, and Pandora. These services rely on trials, bundles, and partnerships to get you to commit to a premium plan. So let's take a look at Spotify first. They've been around since 2008, and they have the highest user count at over 83 million paying subscribers. I've broken down their marketing funnel in the previous video, and their landing page has changed slightly since then. Now, right off the bat, there's a lot in your face here. Up above is their call to action to sign up for their free plan, no credit card needed. But then they also kind of shove these two ongoing deals they have in your face. Over here, they have a student discounted plan, which includes Hulu and Showtime for only a dollar a month for the first three months and then $5 afterwards. If you're not a student though, you can get a similar deal with just Hulu for $13 a month. Clicking either of these learn more buttons will lead to pages that discuss the plans in detail. Spotify's use of partnerships with Hulu and Showtime is going to please anyone looking for bundled services. So I think it's effective to have these plans just there, you don't even need to scroll down to see them. But from an aesthetic standpoint, I'm not really a fan of the blue and purple, mixed with the sunset orange and green. It clashes and it's not really pleasing to the eye. Their landing page is also super short, which I think is clever because if people want to learn more, they're forced to click any one of these buttons. Alright, let's take a look at Pandora. They've been around forever, since January 2000. Spotify and Pandora used to compete heavily from an online radio service standpoint. But since, Pandora has had more luck embracing the freemium radio business model. While they have millions of free users, they only have around 4 million paying subscribers. Now their landing page is simple. Just type in an artist or song you want to listen to, and you can actually start listening to music for free, without even signing up at first. This is where they differ from the other services. They give you a taste of the service without requiring your email beforehand. They make you aware that the service evolves your stations based on what you listen to. So if you scroll down, they showcase all of their plans. They have their free plan with ads, their plus plan with no ads with a 30 day free trial, and then they have their premium individual and family plans, which are essentially identical to Spotify's premium services. These plans come with a two-month free trial, which is superior to Spotify's $1 a month trial phase. If you keep scrolling down, you'll notice that the music search bar follows you, which is a good opportunity for anyone who wants to immediately test their service for themselves. You've got some copy here with a neat design, signifying a key selling point, personalization. Then they have three more points down here, where they elaborate on something called the Music Genome Project which is a comprehensive analysis of music as a whole that powers the service. Their selling point here is that they're more qualified than anyone else to widen your musical taste by actively recommending new music to you that fits your profile. At the bottom of the page, they make you aware of Pandora's platform diversity. You can download Pandora through Apple, Google, Microsoft, or Amazon on any platform. So all in all, I think Pandora's landing page is fresh, simple, and effective at spelling out what their service is. Their page isn't too short or too long. And from an aesthetic standpoint, my only beef is that the yellow at the bottom is a little bit clashy. Alright, so this is Apple Music's landing page. Now, as music retail, download, and storage software like iTunes got phased out by music streaming services, Apple took it upon themselves to launch their own version of Spotify in 2015 with an iTunes. They have over 50 million paying users, which is substantial when you consider they've only been around for three years. So, just looking at their landing page, the first thing you'll notice is 50 million songs. They actually give a concrete number, unlike Spotify's millions. Their call to action here is to try it free, much like the other services. Here they have some photos of the many platforms Apple is known for. Then if you keep going, they have more copy that gives an overview on its features, with prices listed immediately below and another try it free button. They go into more detail with their features here. The graphics on this page are beautiful, but you should expect that with Apple. At the bottom of this section is a link to a page where you can learn more if you want. Here they have a section on new releases and featured playlists. You can interact with these and find out more if you want. Finally, at the bottom here, you have a comprehensive overview of each of their plans, with a 3 month free trial for any of them when you sign up. They do this because they don't offer a free plan. Their prices are identical to Spotify's and Pandora's, but the 3 month free trial is just insane. This page is engaging, interactive, informative, and the design is flawless. But once again, this is Apple we're talking about. I think the only real downside to this page is that it's pretty long, more than twice as long as Pandora's page, and several times longer than Spotify's. So when comparing the three of them, 
Spotify's page is intentionally compact, with two bundles offered, which is great for anyone wanting to get the most bang for their buck. Their goal with this layout is to spark your interest in one of the bundles, so they can sell you on them on the next page. Pandora's page is clean and modest. Their goal is to give you a feel of their service up front and hope that it will create enough interest to get you to sign up. Apple Music puts on the performance. They give the whole presentation in one page, with the generous trial offered at the very end. So, who has the better page? This one might surprise you, but I'd guess Spotify's page probably has the best conversion rate. There's almost no scrolling required, and they offer two bundles at reasonable prices. Apple Music's page will be attractive to anyone already using their products, or anyone just looking for music streaming. That three-month trial is something to consider, but I don't understand why they don't mention that at the very top. It's almost a workout to scroll all the way to the bottom. Pandora's page is the perfect link, and they probably do well by offering the service up front, but Spotify has bundles, and Apple has a superior trial. So I think it's safe to say from a conversion standpoint, Spotify has the best page. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.